Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental, and emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week, depending on my schedule, although my schedule lately has not been friendly. Anyhow, anyway, um, signs of a, signs to deal with a narcissist is, um, is the concept of today's um, you know, audio. Uh, we've got over a thousand of these available for your listening pleasure and uh, certainly want to help you in that way. If you're looking for narcissistic recovery, I've run uh, online and offline support groups for such before and I'm very passionate about helping people heal from that. Uh, so if you're interested, please feel free to uh, connect and you can do that through Twitter at PO Perception. You can also do that through the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either way, get me in touch with me or a member of my team. In any event, what do you need to do to combat a narcissist? Uh, the first is you need to heal. So healing is about understanding your own value. Creating separation so that they do not any longer have power over you is, is valuable and important. Uh, you need to be able to see your own value and also understand they, have, they are trying to gaslight you into reacting. They're trying to gaslight you into acting in a manner that doesn't and isn't concurrent or conducive to the, the things you need or the, or the places you need to go. And ultimately, um, you know, it's, 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 an interesting, it's an interesting journey there. The next thing that it's important to do is potentially mirror their behavior. Look, the narcissist believes they have power over you by how they behave. And so when you give their behavior back to them, you're going to break their concentration and their cycle for at least a minute or two. That's enough time for you to get your bearings back. It's also enough time for you to reflect on the fact that you are being um, manipulated, that you are being controlled or attempted to be controlled, and that you begin to have a deeper value in everything that you need and kind of moving forward in a meaningful and progressive manner. When you begin to understand your ability to do that in a way that makes sense for you, you also then give yourself more power in the interim just by understanding that you control the level of contact and the level of commitment that you give to these individuals and that that in itself is an important thing. When you pull yourself out of communication with a narcissist, they begin to go more insane and realize that these people are extremely insecure and security of control is what they are trying to create. So when you take your control back by saying we're not going to communicate anymore, there's no reason for us to communicate anymore, or there's no benefit to it, then you're beginning to take the power back from them. And although they won't like it, they will not have much influence, if any, over it. And thus, you gain your power back by, re by result and by, and, and, and by default. When you begin to understand the value of doing that, when you begin to understand your effectiveness in doing that, you'll also then begin to understand that you are not responsible for what other people do. And that's the thing the narcissist wants you to feel responsible for how they feel, responsible for how they think, responsible for just about everything at, at every given moment. And when you are not willing to engage in that game any longer, then you begin to take your power back. The beginning of the power struggle is the understanding that at the end of the day, you have just as much control over how you feel as you allow someone else to have. And so if you're not liking the way you're feeling about something or the way you're dealing with something, understanding how to control the narrative that you allow in your own head and the narrative of influence that you allow other individuals to have over you is one of the most important things that you can do for your own mental, emotional, and spiritual wellness. Understanding your wellness as a meaningful nature can also be super valuable and uh, ultimately continue to um, uh, be, be um, important. And uh, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a very uh, important thing and um, uh, you know there's there's some challenges there and um, where things go and, and what things are um, there is a there is a nature of uh, ways at which things can kind of go forward and grow forward and be valuable uh, for us and as we begin to make a connection with that we also have more power in the end so hopefully this is helpful 
your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.